A new AI has just outperformed DeepSec with almost no effort, and that shouldn't be possible. An open source artificial intelligence beating models that once seemed un- Could this mean the end of the absolute dominance of big tech companies? While some celebrate the advancement of open source, Others warn about the risks of powerful systems without centralized control. Are we witnessing the birth of a new era of AI or just the beginning of a major power struggle? Today we're going to explore the details of this revolution and the impact it could have on the future of technology. To start, you already know, comment below if you think open source artificial intelligence can really surpass the closed models of big companies or if this is just an illusion. Do you trust more in the power of the community or in the structure of the tech giants? Comment below because I want to know. Don't forget to like and share the link to this video in your WhatsApp and Telegram groups with the care about. Stay updated on the topic. Agreed? Let's go. Imagine an artificial intelligence model that can outperform industry giants using just a fraction of the data. It looks like a scene from the movie Interstellar, but this is happening right now. A new open source AI model is challenging big corporations and could change everything we know about machine learning. Let's talk about the OpenThinker 32B, created by the OpenTOTS team. It was trained with just cat 14% of the data that DeepSec used, but it's achieving impressive results. The secret, instead of just betting on more data, the team invested in a more efficient design. This shows that the future of AI may not just lie in large databases, but also in smarter training strategies. The OpenThinker 32B has 32.8 billion parameters and a context of 16,000 tokens. It was fine-tuned from the Kion 2.5 32B model, by Alibaba and trained with a data set of 114,000 examples. These examples were carefully selected, containing detailed solutions, specific guidelines for different domains, and code tests to ensure quality an AI-based system was used to verify mathematical proofs and code solutions. The model training was done in three cycles using the Llama factory framework. For this, AWS SageMaker servers were used Ulpoto with H100 chips building the process in 90 hours. To compare, a version of the model was also tested on the Leonardo supercomputer in Italy using H100 chips. The results showed that even with less data, the quality of the model remained high. But how does it perform against other artificial intelligence models? In the math test, the OpenThinker 30 achieved 90.6% on the match 500, surpassing several proprietary models in general problem solving challenges like the GPQA diamond benchmark. It achieved 61.6%, .6 a pretty competitive number. For coding tasks, it scored 68.9% on the LCBV2, slightly below DeepSec, which scored 71.2%. But being open source, its performance can improve quickly with adjustments from the community. And that's the big difference. While companies like OpenTinker and Anthropic keep their models closed, making it difficult for independent researchers to make progress, the OpenThinker 32B is fully accessible. Anyone can download, study, and modify the model. This could further accelerate the evolution of AI and allow more people to contribute improvement. Compared to DeepSec R1, another open source model developed by a Chinese team, OpenTinker 32B, still has the edge in several tests. In MAT500, it scored 90.6% compared to DeepSec's 89.4%. In GPQA, Diamond won with 61.6% against 57.6%, but DeepSec still has the advantage. In specific tests of code and more advanced mathematics. Even so, OpenTinker stands out for achieving this performance with a much smaller volume of data. The team behind the project intends to keep expanding its capabilities, adjusting the architecture and exploring new possibilities. And for those who don't have a supercomputer, there's also a reduced version with 7 billion parameters, perfect for experimentation. Now, Another model that deserves attention is U35B, which takes a different approach. Developed by an international team, it uses a concept called latent reasoning. Instead of exposing each step of reasoning, like traditional A techniques do, it refines its answers internally until it reaches a reliable conclusion. This reduces memory consumption and improves the efficiency. Ugin 3.5B has a looping process mechanism which means it goes over the same information multiple times before generating a final answer. It's like someone solving a math problem in their head, 
making small adjustments until they find the right solution. This approach improves accuracy and saves space, making the model more efficient for complex tasks. Trained on 800 billion tokens from various sources, Eugen 3.5b has proven effective in academic tests and logic challenges. It outperformed larger models like the Fitchia 6.9b's and Fitchia 12b, showing that size isn't everything. Its main advantage is the ability to adjust the complexity of processing according to the difficulty of the task. If it's a simple question, it solves it quick. If it's something more complicated, it spends more time on the calculation without wasting resources. This means that, depending on the need, Ugin 3.5b can be optimized to run on more modest hardware or in applications that require quick responses. A big step forward in making AI more accessible and efficient. Another interesting point is that both OpenThinker 32b and Ugin 3.5bb represent a significant advancement in the democratization of AI. The trend of making open source models more accessible allows small companies and independent researchers to develop new solutions without relying on industry giants. This change could drive innovations that were previously limited to large laboratories. In my opinion, artificial intelligence is entering a new phase that challenges the traditional logic that more data necessarily means better results. Models like OpenTinker 32b and Eugen 3.5b show that efficiency and strategy can outweigh brute force. The impact of this is huge because it paves the way for more people and small teams to get in the game without relying on the tech giants. This puts the future of AI on an unexpected path with possibilities for innovation that once seemed impossible. What do you all think about this revolution? Can open source really beat the tech giants or are there still barriers that we aren't seeing? This video doesn't end now, it continues with us chatting in the comments. If you find this video interesting, like it, share it and subscribe to the channel.